As Democrats panic, Joe Biden's re-election campaign is starting to fall apart. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video, and today it is time to talk about the 2024 presidential election because everyone... Democrats are in a complete panic, obviously. After what happened at the debate a couple nights ago, anyone with a brain would realize, uh, yeah... Biden's chances of winning re-election possibly went down the toilet. It was that bad. He slurred his words. He didn't know where he was. He looked lost. It was bad. And it seems like it was such a disastrous performance that now they're running to Axios, to NBC, etc. And now they're saying, no, no, what you saw at the debate, that's not actually Biden. No, we actually have the real one behind closed doors. That was just a fluke. Yeah. The Biden campaign is so desperate now. They're trying to gaslight the American people into thinking, no, what you saw at the debate, that that's not normally him. That was just a fluke. Now, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Again, folks, all support is greatly appreciated, and uh, yeah. Now, let us get into it, because I cannot believe that this is real. I cannot believe that, with a straight face, the failing Biden campaign, and let's call it that, it's a disastrous campaign, it's falling apart, not just Biden himself, he's falling apart, but his campaign is bad. But they really think it's a good idea to claim, no, actually, the, um, the debate was a fluke, you know, that that's nothing. Biden's actually good behind closed doors, so let's get into it. The past 36 hours showcased two Joe Bidens, the veteran president rallying voters in a swing state, an 81-year-old man struggling to string together thoughts in a debate. Yeah, so this is what they're going to claim. That, no, what actually happened at the debate? That that was a fluke, you know, that's not actually Joe, that that was just a one-off occurrence. Bull crap. We have seen this for months, hell, years. Just what happened at the debate was so bad that a lot of people were shocked because we a lot of people never seen Biden that bad. That's why it was such a disaster because people thought, okay, he's getting older, but at least, you know, that just means he lost a step. That doesn't mean he's gone. Well, after what people saw at the debate, people really think, oh no, th this guy is just completely out of it. But they're going to really claim that there's actually two Joe Bidens, one in private that actually knows what he's doing, but for whatever reason, during every public appearance, he can't say two sentences correctly. He he can't put together words. He doesn't know where he is. It's like, what? The public split screen is a new to many inside the White House, where top aides have meticulously staged managed minutiae such as Biden's sleep schedule, his orthopedic shoes, his walks to Marine One, and his climb aboard Air Force One to try to blunt concerns about his age. Good lord. So, if I'm reading this properly, which I could be off, this could be a misunderstanding, but are they admitting that they plan every single millisecond of Biden's day? Now, not just, you know, oh... He has a press conference at 3 p.m. No, they have to plan how he walks to Marine One, how he gets on board Air Force One. What? And they have to plan Biden's sleep schedule? Does no one have a problem with this? Listen, he's 81 years old. What do you mean you have to manage his sleep schedule? Huh? Wait a minute. Th that's not right. How can anyone look at this and say to themselves, oh yeah, th this is perfectly normal? No, it's not. Again, I understand that the White House, yes, of course, they plan everything, they have everything in detail, but why are they worried about how he walks to Marine One? Th th that's not a good thing to think, oh yeah, um, he might, he might fall when he walks to Marine One, so we have to plan every single step. Internally, many aides have seen flashes of an absent-minded Biden, but typically brush them off as ordinary brain farts because they usually seem engaged, eight current and former Biden officials told Axios. No, that's BS. Listen, a brain fart is once in a day, you know, once in a while. 
you say something you don't mean, you know, you forget, whatever. Everyone has that. Fine. But the difference is with Biden and is what? He's 81. But number two, and this is the most important part, this is a consistent issue. Every day he has a press conference, he has a rally, a speech, whatever. He keeps making the same mistakes over and over again. Look at the debate. Are you going to tell me with a straight face that he had 30 brain farts within five minutes? Really? No, he didn't. He has a massive problem. Again, a brain fart? Fine. Once in a while, everyone has that. But it becomes a problem when you're 81, you're the president of the United States, and you do this consistently. But Thursday's debate has shattered the White House's efforts to show Biden at his best, a president capable of serving until 2029 when he beat 86. So in other words, they've been lying to the American people for years now. They've known about this. Remember when the media for four years has been saying, oh, there's nothing wrong with Biden. He's all there. There's no problems. Remember that? And they said, if you question him at all, you're a far right conspiracy theorist. It's like, really? You're going to call that a conspiracy theory? When we have not just, you know, a week's worth of footage, we have four years of this presidency where every day he has the same issues. He looks lost. He slurs his words. He doesn't know where he is. It's like, okay, dude, there's something wrong here. This isn't normal for anyone, let alone the president of the United States. And for those that are saying, well, FDR had a problem with the wheelchair, there's a difference with having a physical limitation and a mental one. FDR, yes, he was in a wheelchair. The difference was he was mentally fit. He, he was there mentally. Biden, not only can he barely walk at this point, but you can tell that there's something missing. He can't think properly. That's a huge difference. Again, a physical limitation, that's one thing. No one should really care about that, I think. But if they cover up a mental issue, that's a whole separate can of worms because you're talking about someone that has control of the nuclear weapons. I mean, you're this is not a joke. This guy has access to the nuclear warheads. What happens if he has a complete meltdown one day and says, we got to nuke China or whatever? Again, I don't think that's going to happen, but seriously, this is a serious problem. It could theoretically happen because he's mentally gone. He doesn't know what's happening. It's like, this is not good. Some campaign aides projected calm Friday. Friend, the debate is just a bad night that they'll recover from. You're not recovering from that. This isn't like with Obama where he got absolutely destroyed by Mitt Romney, the first debate. Or even Reagan in 84. All right, and then the second and third debates, they crushed their opponents. You know, that that's not what's going to happen here. For one, I don't think they're going to have a second or third debate. I just don't see it happening. I don't see how the Biden campaign looks at what happened the first debate and say to themselves, yeah, let's do that again. So they're going to probably pull out of the second one. So, so much for that theory. But secondly, Obama didn't look like a walking corpse. Like with Biden, he looks like a dead person walking. He, he looks completely out of it. He doesn't know where he is. He can barely walk. That's why this debate was a disaster, because it showed to the American people that he's gone. There's nothing left of him. He's just a dead corpse walking. That's all he is. That's why you're not going to recover from that. It's not like, you know, yeah, Obama lost in 2012 in the first debate, but he won. But because the first debate, he just sucked. It was an awful performance. He, his answers stunk. But it wasn't like he was slurring his words. It wasn't like he was looking around like he didn't know where he was. That's a completely separate ordeal. That's why I highly doubt they can even recover from this. Other Biden aides, donors, and senior Democrats were deeply shaken as Trump and other crowing Republicans questioned his fitness for office. Beyond the politics of whether Biden could beat Trump again, the aides expressed new worries about whether the president could carry out his duties through another four-year term. He, he can't. He can, he's not even fit now. Why would he be fit for another four years? Why? He's going to be 86 in 2029. And you're going to tell me with a straight face, he could serve another four years. No, he can't. This guy is gone now. He was, hell, back in 2020, there were some questions then. Now, it's not as 
as bad as it is now, but still, this is still scary to think that, wait, this guy ran back in 2020 when there were some problems and questions then, but now he wants to run till 2029? Biden eased some of his concerns with a campaign rally. No, he didn't. That campaign rally he had in North Carolina wasn't better than the debate. Fine. Yes, it was. Congratulations. What a what a stunning performance. Was it good? No. He spoke for like 20 minutes and left. I'm not even kidding. He was there for 15 or 20 minutes speaking, and then that was it. Trump's rallies, he speaks for hours. And not just, you know, one rally, you know, a month. He does a bunch of them. While Biden, he could speak 15 to 20 minutes for a campaign event. Yeah, Th that's somehow, you know, a huge improvement. No, it's not. And on top of that, he was reading off a teleprompter the entire time. It, listen, congratulations. It, it's not a big deal that he could speak off a teleprompter. It really isn't. Anyone can do that. But the fact is, this is such a low bar to cross where if he doesn't completely shit himself, he's just fine. No, he's not. The fact is, even with a teleprompter, he was barely able to speak. And he was so stiff. It was unnatural. It's like, dude, what's going on here? You, you can barely speak with a teleprompter. And without one, we saw what happened at the debate. We saw if he's completely off script or supposedly off script. He, he can't speak. He can't think properly. That's why this is bad because he has such a low bar to cross. And most of the time, somehow, he, he doesn't cross it. Biden's miscues and limitations are more familiar inside the White House. The time of day is important as to which of the two Bidens will appear. From 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., Biden is engaged, and many of his public events in front of cameras are held within those hours. Outside of that time range or while traveling abroad, Biden is more likely to have verbal or miscues or become fatigued. Aides told Axios. Oh, gosh. Did they really just admit that, yeah, after 4 p.m., um, he's completely out of it, but beforehand, he's kind of there. That's not good. In fact, that vindicates what many of us have been saying for years, that he probably has dementia. Because what they described here is effectively sundowning. And for those that don't know, these are a set of syndromes that people with dementia usually have where, you know, when it's nighttime, they're more confused, you know, they can't sleep, they have problems with walking, they wander more. Hmm, doesn't that sound familiar? In fact, the more you think about it, yeah, earlier in the day for most of his events, he's not as bad. But as a day goes on, he gets worse. The fact that the White House effectively admitted, oh yeah, um, he gets worse throughout the day, is not good. My question is, does the White House know about this? Does the White House know, yeah, this actually exists, where people with dementia, they experience later in the day increased confusion. You know, problems with wandering off to God knows where. This is not good. The fact is, Biden has some major problems here. Like, this is not just a joke. This is serious. It sounds like they admitted he has potential dementia. And he's the president of the United States. We are in a really bad situation. The campaign, they're just falling apart. They have no clue what to do. They're either posting shitty out-of-context ads about Trump, or they're claiming, no, Biden is still the most fit person to serve and all of that. This campaign's a disaster. And the American people are finally realizing they're full of shit. They're lying. They don't know what they're talking Actually, they do. They're just lying about it. They, if they really believe that Biden could serve another four years, they're delusional. They're out of touch. They're just completely out of it. But if they know he has some serious problems and they're hiding it, that's worse in my opinion because you could just say, well, they're dumbasses. They don't actually know. But if they know about this and they're lying, that's not good. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Godspeed to all of you.